Hi everyone and welcome! Today let's bake small, soft and delicious mini bacon buns. In Latvian they're called piragi and they are usually made for holidays. To make piragi we will need to prepare yeast dough and filling. For the dough we will need 25 grams of fresh yeast, half a tablespoon or 25 grams of sugar, 100 milliliters of warm water, 200 grams of unsalted butter, 450 to 500 grams of all-purpose flour, plus approximately 100 grams for dusting and kneading the dough, 250 milliliters of milk. For the filling, we will need approximately 250 grams of bacon, cut in small cubes, and one onion. The size of the onion is up to you, depending on how much you like onion. I'm using quite a big onion. As this dough can be used to make different pastries, I will use half of it for pirag and the other half for a sweet sheet cake with cottage cheese and apples. With half of the dough, I will make 16 mini buns. If you want to use all the dough to make pirag, you will need double the amount of bacon. First, let's prepare yeast. Crumble yeast in a bowl, add sugar, warm water, and a few tablespoons of flour. Make sure to use warm, not hot water, otherwise you will kill the yeast and it will not grow. Mix everything and put the bowl aside in a warm place. Now let's warm up milk. Add butter and keep it on the stove on low heat till the butter melts. When the butter has melted, remove it from the stove and put aside to cool, as we need the milk to be just slightly warm. We can proceed with making the dough when the milk has cooled and yeast has grown in the bowl. You can check the milk by putting the end of a finger in it. It should feel slightly warm. Changes of the yeast will be visible. It will have grown and be foamy. Now both are ready and we can make the dough. Pour the milk in a bowl, add some tablespoons of flour to it and mix a bit. Put in the yeast and stir. Add the rest of the flour to the batter and mix well. You can see how the dough changes and comes together as we mix it. Sprinkle some flour on the kitchen countertop and take the dough out of the bowl. Knead it to have smooth and consistent dough. It is soft and buttery. If the dough is too sticky, you can add a bit of flour, but just enough for the dough to keep together. We want the dough to be soft. Sprinkle some flour in a big bowl. Put the dough in the bowl and cover it. I have a bowl with a lid, but you can also fold a towel and put it over the bowl. And now put the dough in the fridge for about half an hour. In the meanwhile, let's prepare the filling for the mini buns. Cut the onion in small pieces. Put the bacon to fry in a hot pan. Add the onion and some black pepper. Add salt if needed. I'm not adding any salt because the bacon is already salty enough. When the bacon is fried but still soft and the onion is transparent, remove the mix from the pan and put it in a bowl to cool. Set the oven to heat to 220 degrees Celsius or 425 degrees Fahrenheit. When the dough has been in the fridge for about 30 minutes, put parchment paper or a silicone baking mat in a baking tray and sprinkle some flour on it. Remove the dough from the fridge. The dough should have grown and be approximately twice the size of the initial ball and be soft. Cut it in half. Cut one of the pieces again in half and keep one of the smaller pieces and put the rest back in the fridge. Now roll the dough to form a circle. Cut it in eight triangles like pizza slices. Put the bacon mix on the wider end of each of the dough triangles using a teaspoon. I'm putting approximately one and a half teaspoons on each. 
so that we have generous feeling in each of the piragi and at the same time I am able to roll and close it. Fold the dough ends around the bacon mix at first from both sides, then from the end to close in the bacon mix and roll the mini bun. Put the end of the dough under the bun and make sure that all sides are closed. You can roll it a little in your hands. Put the buns on the baking tray leaving some distance between them as they will grow while baking. Beat an egg in a glass and brush the buns with the egg. Put them in the oven to bake for approximately 8 to 11 minutes till they look golden brown. Remove the buns from the oven and let them cool in the baking tray for a few minutes. Put them on a plate and enjoy!